Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your 11th of March 1996 Raw vs Nitro review. Guys, it was actually the two shows weren't they that great, but we'll get into that when we get into it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. And let's go. So we'll kick off with WCW as we always do, and then we'll move to Raw. So WCW Nitro, we kick off with the Giant vs. Jim Duggan. Already from the back, doesn't seem like it's going to be a great match, which it wasn't. The Giant got the win here. I'm not even going to rate it. It really wasn't anything special. It was it was cool seeing a young big show, and that was that was about it. Then we got the Steiner Brothers versus the Road Warriors, which was arguably the match of the night from both shows. The Road Warriors got the win here, 2.5 stars. The ending with Animal using the shoulder pad to get the win was a little bit hokey, but overall, it was a really good match. Um, Steiner Brothers, obviously, WCW people want to push them. The Road Warriors are the, more of the name value globally, so they kind of were trying to do that little thing there, but I wasn't he? It was good. TV title, Lex Luger versus Alex Wright. Luger obviously got the win. Two stars. Not the worst match, not the best match. Again, I enjoyed it for what it was. I always, always have enjoyed Luger's kind of WCW run, I always did. And I was never a big fan of him, but I always enjoyed it, you know what I mean? Then we got the Lumberjack strap match, which was Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and Kevin Sullivan versus Hogan, Savage, and Booty Man. Hogan and team get the win. No even going to rate this one, guys. What was going on here? It was all over the place. It was like a strapped lumberjack match. If lumberjack matches aren't great and strap matches aren't that good either, this was two of them put together and it didn't work at, in a six man tag. What was going <laughs> It was all over the place. Hogan somehow ended up getting a win, as you would expect, but I. No. <laughs> Overall, two stars in this one. No great nitro. I would say the Steiners and Warriors were my best from this card and from both shows overall. Yeah, nothing else really, really done it for me. It was obviously cool seeing Flair and Hogan and Savage and that kind of stuff. Raw, we kick off with Austin with the Ted DiBiase versus Savio Vega. Double count in this one, 1.5 stars. Decent match. Pretty short for... Pretty short here. You would expect maybe a little bit more from this one, but it was a little bit short. And yeah, Austin had white boots on, which just distracted me most of the match. <laughs> and the crowd would did not give a shit about this one either. Then we got Goldust and Piper. They have a little segment. Everything was okay. The Goodwins with Hillbilly Jim versus the Godwins. Goodwins. Versus Jeremy and Alex. Two jobbers. Je the Goodwins got the win, obviously. No one's going to rate this. It was just jobbers. It was under two minutes and it was nothing special. Hunter Hearts Hounsley with a random woman. Versus Ben Greer. Triple H, Hunter Hearts Hounsley, gets a win here. Obviously, it was short, it was a jobber, and it meant nothing. This whole show was only for one match, and it's the main event. So, we Owen Hart and British Bulldog with Jim Cornette versus Yokozuna and The Undertaker. DQ finish on this one. It was a dud. Do you know what I mean? This whole show was setting up for this match, and it really didn't do anything. The Diesel coming out attacking Paul Bearer, so Taker ended up going to the back. Fader eventually comes out. Tax Yokozuna, and then we eventually get Johnson coming out, and much later we get Jake the Snake eventually getting there. But um, aye, it was a bit of a dud. Overall, the whole of Raw, I'd say, was a dud. Part of Savio Vega and Austin, which was okay, everything else was just pretty boring, really, apart from that main event, and then obviously setting up for uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart at Mania. There really wasn't anything else going there. For me, Nitro picked up the win this week um, and you can really tell Raw is needing something to change like it's really bad but Raw Raw just wasn't that good this week Nitro got the win and uh, yeah two not so great shows I wouldn't recommend you go watch them maybe go watch Savio Vega Austin um, Road Warrior Steiners but apart from that miss the rest nothing really to catch up on just look through the highlights and you'll get it but um, yeah so, I don't know, this, this one really, really, just didn't, didn't really sit right with me. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. See you later.